Hi, if you ever wondered and wanted to design a program for your participants, are fully immersed, fully motivated, and just want to go on, on and on, and never it never crosses their mind to abandon your program, then you're in the right place. My name is Max Quiroz from Max and Root Training, and I welcome you to this video. If you haven't done so, please click on the button that is on your screen so that you can subscribe to our channel and also activate the little bell so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video. And today we want to talk with you about how to create immersive learning experience, certain aspects that you must consider in order to design a, an immersive learning experience where your participants are fully motivated, they don't abandon your course and they just go on and on and keep on learning. The first thing that you must consider is that you have to design with the participant in mind. Your focus must be on the participant. M many times what happens is we're, when we're designing our program, we're always thinking, oh, I'm going to do this activity and I'm going to teach them this and I'm going to include this content. And we are focused on the process. And, and, and that's not good enough for a, an immersive learning experience. If we want to design an immersive learning experience, we must focus on the transformation that we want our participant to have. And in, in order to do that, we must know perfectly well what's the profile of our audience. Who are they? What's their uh, demographics, if you want to call them that? What's their age, their, their profession? work experience, everything that tells us what's the profile of our audience. The second point that we must consider is we have to know what are their training or learning needs. What do they need to learn in order for it, for our program to be focused on those learning needs? Because if not, if we don't focus on what they need, to learn, then they will get distracted, they will be unmotivated, and they will abandon our program. And finally, third, we must know perfectly well what are our learning objectives. We must design specific, general, and intermediate learning objectives for based on those needs and that audience profile. And if you haven't looked at our video on instructional design, Go there, you'll find the link right now, and you will see exactly what we mean by designing with the audience, with the participant, focus on the participant. The second aspect that we must take into consideration is what is called cognitive load. We must consider always what is the cognitive load that we, the, the participant is going to experience in our, in our course or program. And cognitive load is the total effort that the participant must expend to acquire knowledge, to finish a task, to learn new skills. Because everything takes some effort. But what happens if we try to cram many things into the mind of our participant, he will feel overwhelmed by all that information and he will tend to abandon and feel unmotivated, overwhelmed and say, I cannot do this. This is too much for me. So we must be very careful. We must understand perfectly well what's the maximum cognitive load that the participant will support in order to learn what we are including in our learning experience. And when we know this exactly, our learning experience is, a, in, is an immersive learning experience. The participants feel, oh, this is wonderful, I'm not tired, I'm feeling great, I can keep on learning and going on, and this is what we should strive for. And in order to do this, we must be able to structure our content and design what we will include and what we will discard 
from our courses or programs and this is done with different tools that you can see on our video on how to structure your contents for your programs or courses. So remember, consider the cognitive load for the participant. Whenever we design a course, we must always include hands-on and interactive activities. One of the first persons to learn about this and to propose this as a learning method was Robert Baden Powell, the founder of the scouting movement. And he said that we learn by doing. And that's why scouting activities, scouting is an educational method and scouting activities always include hands-on and interactive activities because that's the way we learn. If we tell our participants to do something, they will learn it and they will make that learning part of their biologies. And what we mean is, let's remember whenever we started driving the first time we drove our car. Maybe if you're as old as me, you drove a stick shift and you had to, okay, I step on the clutch, I engage first gear, and then I pull out the clutch, step on the accelerator, and then little by little the car starts moving and that's how we drove the first times that we had learned always thinking about the actions that i needed to carry out what happens after some time doing it well we are in the corner of our house and we didn't think about what we were doing we just did it because that skill set is now part of our biologies. It's part of us. And that's exactly what we achieve whenever we include hands-on and interactive activities in our courses or programs. That's how we turn a learning experience into an immersive learning experience. Another aspect that we must always consider is to include time for self-paced learning. Yes, as they say, not all participants are born equal. That's true. Some of them will learn some concepts very fast all, all, and will struggle with other concepts, while people that struggle with this will excel in it. And everybody learns at a different pace. And this means that we must always design some periods of, for the participant to be able to maybe read something or carry out an activity by himself at his or her own pace, then write his or her conclusions down, maybe then share those conclusions with a small group and finally with the whole group, and he will be learning at his or her own pace. That's the beauty of a, a, an immersive learning experience. You design this period of self-paced learning. So each participant advances at his or her own rhythm, at his or her own speed. And that's fundamental in order to design an immersive learning experience. Those beautiful Easter eggs that we see are all different colors. And so our content formats should be different. If we always use the same content format, if we only use video, for example, and one video after the other, our participants will be bored, will be distracted, and we will lose them. So, variety, as, as the saying goes, variety is the spice of life. And we have to have a variety of content formats. Maybe we can have a video and we can include the audio of the video. And 
maybe we can have a text or an infographic explaining the same concept that we explained on the video. And let me tell you something that happened to us. One of our participants told us that uh, she loved to have the audio of the video lessons available because whenever she went for a run to work out, she plug in her earphone, her earphones, and she listened to the audio of the lesson of that week. And she said that while running, she heard everything again, and she uh, got more and more information of the session. And that's an important thing. Remember, some of us are visual learners, some of us are auditory learners and some of us are kinesthetic learners. So plan for those different learning styles with different, with a wide variety of content formats. And that will do the trick in order to convert your course into an immersive learning experience. Always be uh, aware that you need to include practice and reinforcement activities. Practice makes perfect. And if we don't practice what we have just learned, we will soon forget it. Be sure to include practice and reinforcement activities in your courses and programs. And this will take you a long way and take your participants a long way in achieving your learning objectives. And this is very important, especially important with adults. Adult learners need to practice and reinforce whatever new knowledge or skill sets they're acquiring in courses and programs. So please be sure to always include practice and reinforcement activities. And always, always, always include collaborative activities. Why? Adults learn socially. Whenever we are in a group as adults on a learning experience, we learn from each other. It's not just what the teacher or instructor is telling us or the text that we're reading. We share our experience and people learn from it and we learn from other people's experiences. So it's very important to encourage collaboration whenever we are designing an immersive learning experience. And really, if you tell me, Max, okay, that works on face-to-face -face, uh, learning experiences, but what about now that we are in an online setting? That's not valid. Why? Because all learning online learning platforms now include some way to carry out social activities collaborative activities small groups breakup rooms whatever they call them they all include this so that you the participants can work together in a small group even remotely and then share what they have learned in that small group with the rest of the audience so if that's not an excuse anymore, we can do it, be it face-to-face -face or online. And finally, be sure to create a feedback system. Both feedback from the participants to you as the course designer to know how it's, everything is working and from you to the participant. So the, the participant should be able to know how he's doing, where he is, in regards to the whole program that he is immersed in. And that will feel, make the participant feel supported and covered and, and, and uh, warm in your process, in your learning process. And that's how we can create immersive learning activities. So these are some considerations that you should take care if you want to design an immersive learning activity. We really hope that this video has been helpful for you 
And if you want to learn more, don't hesitate to contact us on the email that is shown on your screens. We will gladly talk with you, speak with you, because we can help you design those immersive learning experiences. Hope this video is helpful for you and see you in the next one. Have a great day.